What is up guys, Sondern here. In this video, I'm gonna give you my top five tips on how to protect your car from thieves. If you guys follow me on this channel, you guys know we're having a serious situation right now. 54 cars are being stolen in the greater Toronto area every single day in 2023. It's crazy, crime has increased, auto thefts have increased, it's nuts. And so I'm gonna give you these top five tips, which is gonna potentially save you from any of those altercations. And we've seen, you know, people put at gunpoint, people beats for their cars, a lot of stuff is going on. So I really wanna give you these top five tips to help make sure that you're not put in that very, very bad vulnerable situation, literally, and putting your life at risk for what is basically metal and rubber wheels. So let's start off with tip number one, and this is probably the most obvious tip. If you have a garage, you should be parking your car in a locked garage. Absolutely. So anytime I see anybody with a garage, I say, look, make sure your cars are parked in there. You have a garage, use it automatically. That's gonna basically stop the majority of theft from any type of criminals. Because number one, most of the crime that's happening, the cars are typically parked outside. And so that's easier access for the criminals. They don't have to worry about breaking into your home or any of that. So if you have a garage, now I know a lot of people don't, but if you do, make sure you use it please park your vehicle inside of the garage it's probably better it keeps the snow off of it and everything else keep your car in the garage that's definitely tip number one now tip number two put a security system home security system video system and alarm system outside of your house now if your car is outside this is going to act as another deterrent so i personally use the wise floodlights i will link that in the description box down below that's been really helpful for me because number one I get to see everything that's happening with that wise floodlight. And I have an alarm set where basically during specific hours during the night, what's gonna happen, it'll detect motion. And not only motion, it can detect if it's a human, a dog, whatever else it is. And anytime, let's say for example, there's motion in between a specific area in the frame, it's automatically gonna go ahead and put out a 105 decibel alarm. It's gonna contact the authorities and it's gonna go ahead and put out 26 lumens of flashing brightness in the thief's face. Now, is that necessarily 100% gonna stop them? No, but if I'm a thief and I was just about to rob a car and all of a sudden I just hear a huge alarm and shining bright lights going off and then they don't know this, but then the authorities are called automatically, then I'm a little bit freaking out, I might just run away. And that's all you're trying to do. Again, is around deterring them from stopping them and robbing your vehicle. So really what you're trying to do is just make sure you deter them, right? This is just another deterrence method. It by itself will not 100% protect you, but that's why you need to you know, employ all of these tips that I'm telling you, which is hopefully step by step by step gonna stop that thief in his tracks. But I think this is one that's pretty good, especially if they're gonna try to rob you at nighttime. You know, very loud alarm, very bright lights, most people would probably hightail it and get it out of there unless they're the most sophisticated criminals and they really have nothing to lose, which I feel like a lot of these criminals, you know, don't have anything to lose. And that's why I think then tip number three is going to be really important. Another visual deterrent, anything that can be stuck on the steering wheel, a wheel lock. They also have those huge stainless steel containers that go over your wheel. Not only is it a visual deterrent, so if they're inspecting your car, they say, oh God, I have to go deal with that in addition to getting in the vehicle, but it's another visual deterrent for them again, and it will also deter them from actually stealing your vehicle in the event that they do try to go ahead and enter. Now, of course, a lot of these criminals have ways to break into these systems, but if I'm a criminal and criminals know this, the more time it takes, the worse they are, right? They wanna get these robberies done as quickly as possible. So if you're adding time and more complications for them to do that, that's another good thing. And they may just pass by your vehicle and say, you know what? It's not worth it to do on this one. So that's tip number three. Tip number four, very important, especially if you have newer vehicles that have the remote start technology, or if they have the keyless entry technology as well, you need to get a Faraday box. This is the kind of the biggest weak point for all the newer vehicles, you know, specifically some of the Fords, the Lexuses, the Toyotas, the Land Rovers. There's a whole bunch of vehicles that are being stolen through a relay attack. And basically what they're doing is they know a lot of homeowners, when they get inside of their house, they hang their keys somewhere near the door. And so what they're doing is they're relaying that signal from your key fob replicating it, making another key and entering your vehicle, starting your car and just driving away. And this is basically the least friction point for them to go ahead and do. So what you wanna do is every time you get home, wherever your keys are, 
put them inside a Faraday box. And basically a Faraday box is gonna block the signal from your key fob from being relayed out so that it can capture it and enter your vehicle. So we have one, I'll link a Faraday box that I use in the description box down below. Every time me and my wife get in the house, we made the rule. Immediately, the keys go into the Faraday box. So we've just made it a habit, very easy for you to do. And honestly, this is what a lot of criminals are going to as their first options to steal these vehicles. So if you have this immediate theft protection right there, they're not gonna be able to relay attack your vehicle and they're not gonna be able to get access to the car. Now, tip number five, they've gone ahead there, you know, they went through all of this. The alarm is blaring, the lights are blaring. You know, they managed to go ahead and enter the vehicle through a different method, could be a different way. You know, they enter and break through your wheel lock, whatever else it is. Then they're most likely going to try to get into your OBD2 port. And so this is the port where they can actually plug in into your car's computer and potentially reprogram a key. And so you have two options here. One, you could get a lock that goes over the OBD port so that they can't access it, which is one option or they have OBD2 relocators where they go ahead and basically the OBD2 scanner or the port is still there, but you've actually relocated that port somewhere else in the vehicle that only you know where it is. So if they don't have access to your car's computer, they're not gonna be able to rob it, especially on these newer vehicles. So if you really have all these five steps in place, it's gonna be really hard for somebody to come in and steal your vehicle. But at the end of the day, here's the truth. If they really want your car, Unfortunately, most likely they're gonna get your car and they made that decision and they're gonna try their best to make out of it. All you can do is really go ahead and apply these top five tips and really it's gonna significantly reduce the chances that they even target your vehicle in the first place. They may just say, you know what, not worth it. We're just gonna to go to the neighbor or the next guy and we're gonna take their vehicle. As sad as that sounds, that's what's happening in Ontario right now. Again, 54 cars are being stolen every single day in the GTA. It, it's wild, it's nuts. I made a previous video about it. I will link it in the card above as well. But those are my top five tips. I am personally employing all these tips on my vehicles to make sure that the car is safe and to make sure that I deter as much of the criminals that are out there from stealing my vehicles. Not only because I love my vehicles, but for the safety of me and my family, right? And again, we've seen in the news, people are being put at gunpoint, people are being beat up, you know, killed, and all being all this is being done for steal on rubber wheels at the end of the day it's not worth your life so you know there's only so much you can do but these are really the top five tips that you can go ahead and do to deter those thieves from stealing your car if you have some tips let me know in the comment box down below i'd love to hear what you guys are doing to deter these thieves these criminals from stealing your vehicles and to keep you and your family and your friends safe i'd love to hear it let me know in the comment box down below also give this video a like if you like this video you thought it was helpful make sure you like it again you can see all the products that i use in the description box down below i'll add it all there so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel follow my journey i do everything to do with cars car reviews auto detailing i cover it all on this channel so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one